<coughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena Run. Today it's Midweek Magic. We are going to be doing some singleton here. So, it is a 60 card alchemy deck and you know what? We're not exactly really, don't exactly feel the pressure to take this very seriously, it being singleton and all. So, we're going to jam as many alchemy cards as we can and we're gonna see how it pans out. So. Let, let's do let's let's get all the alchemy cards out of the way. That will include um, cards from Baldur's Gate. So actually, it's a lot easier to line up the cards that are not alchemy. So there's Jingitaxis, not alchemy, but um, we are running um, we are running instants and sorceries quite a bit. So we are gonna be benefit a lot from the double trigger. Having the 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 one the free counter is quite nice. Lier. Um, it's nice to it's um we don't get to cast every turn it is affected by alchemy but technically it's not so much an alchemy card we can leave that there otherwise yeah drag to the bottom is a reg is regular board wipe haughty gin um cost reduction is always great inspired idea i'm pretty much a late game card and let's see Ledger Shredder is good, so that's why it's there. Suspicious Stowaway helps us draw more cards. Um, cast Down, tech, as, as far as legality is concerned, is some alchemy. So Infernal Grasp, Jadar, Tenacious Underdog. Uh, hold on. Reckoner Backbuster to draw some cards. Rona's Vortex, some um, Cut Down. So those are my non-alchemy cards, quite 5, 10, ter it's about 13 of them. Everything else is pretty much an alchemy card or land or land base for that matter. Um, we're hoping to take advantage of um, specialized, especially for instants and sorceries. Um, specializing these guys into blue is quite good. Specializing into bl black, not so necessary for Imoen or Gale, but it is actually, but actually works quite, quite nice here. But otherwise, um, we're um not 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 so much to talk about per se. It's um pretty much, it it's pretty much about trying to maintain control, which means the early game is going to be the critical part. We could get run over quite easily there. We'll see how we'll see how things pan out. Okay, man. Right off the bat, we will lead. We'll lead with contaminated aquifer. We will get. We have a lot. We have a good number of two drops, so we can start off with those. So definitely leading with Jadar. Get the early aggro, so to speak. We'll see what our opponent does. If it's just if it's just a removal spell, in Jadar, sure. We don't exactly have any sacrifice um tri hmm. It's not fight spell. Wait, no, just play with fire. Okay. So not exactly blocking, but we probably will just play Vicon Viconia here. Uh sure, because um that it's basically free damage, and we did, and we did get to eat the burn spell, so it's quite fine. Opponent seems to be on the aggro route. If we can, get, if we can draw one more land, this is actually quite fine. Hello. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Sige. Sige. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Now the unlicensed curse is going to be a bit of competition. They're going to exile our cards, but uh, before we can exile theirs, so it, it's gonna be a bit of a race. Hmm. Now this is a bit off. Now this is slightly awkward here. Hmm. We're, gonna we're gonna swing first. Opponent probably does not block. If they blocked, I'd be surprised. We will just exile the Pit Fighter, just as a freebie. And we'll just go for the Intellect Devourer. Now, 
the bad thing about this is they do have a choice of what to exile so they'll probably exile the least effect well actually it'll um what they exile will kind of tells us what's the rest of their cards so exiling deadly dispute <laughs> oddly enough we can deadly dispute sack then sack the intellect devourer there's a good chance our opponent does have the removal for this so they get the so they get it back that's a shame they have their own infernal grasp okay not too bad they get it back they will probably yeah ideally i want to take out their creature as well so okay, this one's a bit sketch but this is what we're gonna do So now we're gonna actually hold this up because we can use it to like say protect Viconia de depending on the situation. City Stalker Connoisseur discards the greatest value. We'll discard the Eldritch pack, which is perfect. So Exile the Infernal Grasp. And it's a good thing they use their own infernal grasp, so that's actually quite good for us. Do they have a what? So we're gonna see if we can convince them to take take both of those out because what we can actually do is we can specialize into specialize into blue and that will give us access to uh, their infernal grasp. They could try to short this one out by exiling it to the hearse first but i feel like they want to swing which is why they're actually hesitating on this one nope they're gonna actually nuke it so we will pitch the pack that's fine So we now we need to hold up So it's two mana to specialize and we need two mana to hold up. So we're actually gonna pitch the gin here because um we get more use out of the Vesuvan mist. Do they actually hear Target up to one creature card. Um, can't. So, exiled with this creature, so we don't have any exiled. We do get this. I'm suspecting that they might have a voltage surge. And we're okay with cracking this one because um, we will be able to get some card advantage again off the off the gate to sea tower. Opponent's probably gonna just crack crack this. They're, I didn't realize their life total is actually quite low. I didn't. I wasn't hitting them that hard. Opponent goes cruelty of gigs. We do not have either. And, and the interesting thing here is we can... Oh, there's a Gale's Redirection. Search your library, put that card, D3 life. Okay, we can actually wait. Opponent might actually just sack this to crap. No, they're still exiling, sure. They might and I think they're gonna wait the turn, they're not gonna just crack for the deadly dispute. 
Oh, and the problem here is they will go down to they will go down to tree life, which is actually going to be quite bad. So So we're going to see if this actually slips through. I'm opponent is looking for a specific card that gets them out of jail free. But they only have so much mana to work with. Okay, they're down to Liliana the Veil. Well, it's a bit too much to ask for being able to cast it for free, but if our opponent had to dig for that, we'll see if they have anything else. Restless Bloodseeker. Not quite it when we can bounce it with um, Vesuvan Mist. And they can't even crew it. It's not big enough. Like, I have choices. I can just bounce. Yeah, they're just going for it. We're gonna we're gonna go with the veil plan. We're gonna leave this up. A fight? And you think you can win? That's it. Ah, one of your friends has to leave. Yeah, so that so that's actually part of the appeal of this deck. It's not so much about what uh we get to play with our opponent's cards as much as we get to play with our own. Well, that was a very nice redirection. Um, we don't have that many counter spells. I really probably should put Urtai. That that would have been a great fit here. Oddly enough, we're not ru we're not running a lot of the standard staples. No Liliana, no shield. I really considered putting those, but I wanted to keep. I I wanted to show. I wasn't really going to take this that seriously, and I wanted to showcase as much of this. So, super sketchy. I will keep this one. We're, we're probably going to go... F Hold on a sec. Hello? Ah. Ah, sige, sige. Okay. Ah. Ah, oh, wow. Um, but. What's up, my law? And yeah. Okay, see again. Okay, definitely discarding this one. Okay, okay. Okay. So, yep, a bit sad on the virus beetle, but you know what? Hmm, I suspect this might be ninjutsu. I really want to hold up the spell teeth, though. So we're gonna hold it up. Technically, I should have discarded this, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let. Okay, points just hitting. Land. Going to peacekeeper. So we might as well go for it. Gets us a copy of their anointed peacekeeper. So we get to take a look at their hand as well. Yeah, I really we should have pitched the tenacious underdog. I, we, some sometimes that's how it is. Um, you get slightly distracted. Now they could go meta and name anointed peacekeeper. You know, they're just naming underdog. Sure. Then swing. See if they trade. The damage has been done already. So. Okay, cut, cut down doesn't ki cut down kills the spell teeth. Sculptport merchant um draws more cards. Wedding announcement is probably the most annoying one though. I'm only doing this because um they're they have it because um because of the lands. If they draw into another black source, lucky they're really lucky.
So we're actually going to take this hit. They did draw the land. Well, but they're going for Skullport Merchant instead of Sorin. Hmm. Do I want to see if they have a better offer? Actually, we're going to need the mana now. So we're going to go key to the archive. We're going to pitch Tenacious Underdog. Let's see. DT is always good. Doomblade, actually also quite solid. It will not hit... I say we take the DT. Weird as it sounds, because um, there are a lot of cards it's not going to hit, but... When it goes for the cutdown, it's predicted. When it goes for Sorin. Also, it's a check number of cards in their graveyard. Okay, so that... So Eldritch plans really a long... Blood for knowledge. A fair trade. Okay, we are getting overwhelmed here. Drag would be a really good card. Jin is a bit... Oh, we just need one more mana. Jin would have been really nice. We could actually cast Tenacious Underdog, but... Let's see... Like... I'd say we take one. Yeah, I'd say we take one of their cards. Archangel of Wrath is a good hit. We'll not laugh at the flying lifelink. Opponents now probably gonna start digging. Oh, they hit the land. You wish to know my secrets? Very well. So We're going to encourage our opponent to spend mana there. Yes, that means they will be able to... They might even go over the top. Like, sacking everything. In which case, sure. Yeah, they're going to go over the top here. Which is kind of why I decided, decided not to block with this one. Let's see. Oracle of the Alpha. Quite cute, but... Um... Let's see, because I can... Also, not that many... We got better offer again, which is... But we need an out to this. Yeah, Doomblade, not so great. Let's see, also... Yeah, we need to avoid this hitting 7, so we're going to swing with this one now. Your blood will be mine! So if I cast this, I don't get anything. Well, technically I can hold up Doomblade still, so there there is that option. Because it's either this or Lear. Lear, not yeah, I think it'll take Oracle of the Alpha. It's a It's a relatively better blocker. Already regretting not taking the DT. But now that our opponent is just going plus, well, they have to. They've all. They've also Five avoided three, doming three, themselves. Nine. So, mm, no. so yeah, the luck. Luck's in the draw. We'll see how many cards they're willing to draw. Okay, we'll we'll take the hit first. Let's see what their follow-up play is. Wedding announcement. They swung twice, so they're going to draw a card. Into a shambling ghast. Okay. So they're not going to activate this one. Mm, do I? Might as well. Might as well, I guess. So. 
So we do hit Viconia. V Viconia to cut down. It's a we can cut down the Skullport Merchant, which would be quite solid. But we actually want their graveyard to be loaded with cards. So I actually want to hit here, hit here. Play. Hold on, because... So, let's check our graveyard. We're gonna hold on the better offer. We're gonna take the cut down. I can actually just choose not to exile. Guess we exile this too so that we have a we have an idea what we're looking at. And specialize. We're gonna keep the air. So that means we're pitching Jin attacks, yes. Um feel feels bad, but opponent might also try to kill this first, and but in that case it's it leaves the Archangel and the Oracle alone, so I'm actually happy with that sequence of plays. Also, what's this natively? Uh, view print and card 3 4. So that gets us a. So that will get us a. That will get us a set of cards. No. Okay, so what are we looking for? Lots of mana would be nice. Infernal Grasp, yeah sure, that's fine. Shipwreck Marsh, we actually will take that, that's no mana. So note that if our opponent does make a token, we can cut it down. There's still drop. Taking two. You wish to know if they play the corrupt secrets. court official, we probably now pitch the Eldritch Pack because um that's not because um opponent doesn't have that enough cards to make it worth it. Opponent probably attacking with just one, sure. So we draw into the marsh, we can take them down to one. Ah, oh, now I wish we kept the pack. That 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 would have been enough. I guess first things first, we nuke the Skullport merchant, see if they're gonna do any sacrifice shenanigans. Treasure token, sure. We m okay, the fact that they let that go means that they probably have enough for other things. Evil or with Ward. Okay, so they did. Yeah, so they did have that option. Well, can't, can't be helped. At least we didn't try to go for the win right then and there. I guess we do go for the air now. Oh, we still have one more mana. What? But it, and we have to use it on our turn, so we're going to nuke their artifact. I don't know why. I just figured that. I just figured this much. But there are now six cards here, so if 
the air actually survives, we can Eldritch Pact. I suspect our opponent has a board wipe. We're gonna block. We're gonna just block into Vaconia. See what happens. Do they, do they have the drag? Or it's either drag or path. Or it could be farewell. Not just a farewell. So they're leaving the enchantments up. Okay, they, they're go Ooh, going that you fight way. For me. So Liesa, unfortunately, too much mana. Yeah, we 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 got we got wrecked by the last minute farewell. We we almost had it. Yeah, but we can easily concede now. We we what? Also, let's see, four, five, six. Yeah, they had so much mana. Anointed Peacekeeper was not gonna quite do it here in this case. Heck, it's fine. We. White black control would have been another option. Uh, would have been another interesting option. I think, yeah, we did, we did muck it up with a few, with a few plays. Um, we. Not really though. Um, they had to destroy evil anyway. Okay, so definitely keeping this evolving wilds into black. So for soul servitude, the turn two bank buster really helps. Okay, so the aggro start begins. We really not to find out how. So we went first. So this is going to ETB tap. Definitely want to hold up spell teeth. Hobbling zombie. Yeah, so probably gonna end up holding spell teeth. The alternate play would be. The alternate play would be Soul Servitude. Let's see. So we're gonna see what they end up. Also, the fact that they they did not play out their third land eh, could mean anything. No, do I want to discard for Okiba? No, not, not, not impressive enough. Did have a third land, so if we don't, I'm definitely keeping that on top. We, so hold on, this is Crew Tree, so not quite active yet. If our opponent casts a reasonable spell, we'll go for the spell thief. If our opponent does not, we can we can go for side by side for this. Liliana. Gets us, gets us a copy of Liliana, sure. Well now we are in an interesting no position. What? We sacrifice a creature. Hmm. We will sa we will still sacrifice the spell key, but <laughs> Off you now go. we're giving our opponent the option to swing with their zombie. Yep, we did not take. So we can go cyber siphoner, grab a spell. This one also grabs a spell. But the problem is, I kind of want to do this when I actually have the mana for soul servitude. So. Something suspicious is going on, and for once, it's not my fault. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. Okay. Opponents. 
Okay, now they're able... Oh, not quite able to crew yet. Well, we're not quite able to swing yet either, but we'll see. Opponent most likely makes us discard the card we discard... Probably just discard Cyber Siphoner if they do that. Heroes down. Okay, so... Sorry, I'm not interested in dying today. So... Don't overthink things. Yeah, we definitely want to keep this one up. Checking for it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hmm, key to the archive looks good. I kind of want to just dra draw a card, see what it take, what it gives us. We did discard all our expensive stuff already. Yeah, we'll go key to the archive. Mm. Putrefy. Yeah, should I take the putrefy. If one, it probably just makes us discard the card, so what's our way of getting it back? No, I think that's it. We might have. Yeah, looks like our opponent had. I'm tired of your secrets. So they could hit us for four, or they could hit us for yeah. They're gonna just no. They're gonna hit us for five. Oh, they're actually holding back the hobbling zombie. But constant death touch is a problem. So two. We can specialize this. We have two or more. Do we have? Yeah, we have two or more instants in our sorceries. But our blue mode gets us. We may XL tap. Not so great. We'll probably actually want to keep the ledger shredder. But yeah, this looks like a bit of a lost game. I really avoided. Well, this is actually our opponent's deck is actually a very good choice. I just avoided. I just avoided choosing it because it's by gosh the most boring choice possible. You know what everyone is gonna pick it. To yeah, you know what? It's so boring. We're gonna just concede. Could we? Did we have any option? Did we have any out options there? Hmm. Unfortunately, we uh, somehow not. We we ended up discard. We ended up dis discarding cards quite a bit. Yeah, I think our mistake was going for the discard. If we knew our if we knew our opponent had the hero's downfall, we would have just um, we would have just taken out one of their creatures and w went for it that way. If but, I really I kind of didn't want to because yeah they had they have a hobla hobbling zombie though it didn't really matter in the end there. Let's see if we can get a much closer battle. This one... Uh, very sketch. We only got two... We have to mulligan this a bit. Okay, this is much better. Probably... We do want to get multiple cards on, in the yard. I think the Leer has to wait. So we kind of want to do Quilkeeper, so no, no removal quite yet. I guess I should have held up mana for Bind to Secrecy, but um, we probably... Opponent is annoying the Peacekeeper. We'll most likely lose either the Bind or the Gale. Most likely, most likely Bind. This is actually kind of expensive to... This is a bit on the expensive side to specialize, especially this soon. We'll need to find ways to pitch these cards to the yard. We, we will have ways. Gale? Okay, okay. 
not, not too bad to be in the late game. exactly the most auspicious it starts. Didn't help that our opponent... It's usually the weakness of control if your opponent gets to go first. And we will lose Imuen probably... Yeah. Yeah. Our biggest enemy is when our opponent has the perfect curve. So we can't even... Oh, wait. Our opponent named the wrong side. So I could still cast this. I, I don't have anything to get back with it, but... I don't think our opponents realized that they named the wrong side. Anyway, we have the option to pitch Sanders Lounge if it gets... If our opponent doesn't really do anything here. I was wondering why this was not reflecting as a 6. Now, and this doesn't even have any, yeah, it doesn't have any activated ability, so that's a bit of a whiff, but we might not, it might not matter in this case. We're taking seven. Really hurts when, re really hurts when, um, it, this is the main weakness of control. Your opponent has the perfect um, curve start. One is probably not going to cast a non-creature spell at this point. Oh wait, they did. So that gets us our bind back. And let's see. Storm the festival. Well, they're going for, they're going for big. We'll see what they hit off with this. But at least have Ronus Vortex as an option to bounce stuff. We are still going to end up taking tree though. Okay, they did not cast this spell, but bouncing it is a bad call. Hmm. Do I just bounce the anointed peacekeeper? No, I know this is about to come in as a problem. Neither of these are very good options. We're unless we can hit our board wipe, we we are pretty much dead. No, this actually does not have the ability, so well, I could have just bounced that one instead. That probably would have been a much better choice. So they are specializing into white-green. Double strike. Well, it's not looking very good here, but 
And not looking very good. Oh, they went for Elspeth with Splendid. Like so this is probably gonna go for flying. Let's do this together. Do four eight. Yeah, that's yeah, that's good enough. Ah. What I would give for the opponent to not Oh also also did not realize it get re got really dark here all of a sudden. There you go. Yeah, sometimes you, sometimes your opponent just has it. Sometimes your opponent just has to not draw, and you can't really do anything about it. And let's see, do I keep this one? We have, we have some two drops. We're just missing a land. I, I am willing to keep this, but I will, I will acknowledge that it's not a very great keep. Find the secrecy. Um, it's very. Really nice control trick. Okay, I'm actually playing the Sea Tower Gate first because it, it, it gives us it gives us grave choice as an option, and we're able to cut down any still able to cut down, which is probably the more important deal. So let's see. So. Let's see if our opponent plays a cheap enough creature. Thankfully, they did play a cheap enough creature. So let's get ourselves a yeah. Let's get ourselves another black source. We could cast Iconoclast and even we can cast this and actually kick it because of Sandra incidentally because of Sandra's lounge. Do I want to hold the bind? Probably not. Yeah, let's just go. In <laughs> incidental kicker. When it goes for Outland Liberator. Now we can so Okay, we can Soul Servitude, get them to discard. I can... Because um, ideally I want to do the 1-2. One, 1-2 two. I thought we did too many witch hunters just to lose to beware. Yeah, I, I know. I'd say go for Tasha for now. Magic. Um, yeah, I, was, I figured people would be annoyed enough with Tasha. I didn't expect it to end the game that quickly. But yeah, that that's kind of what we're looking for: being able to get some con early control. Uh, now, ideally, we could add more early game spells. That's something we probably could have opted for. I would say that. I would also note that a lot of our losses were just incidentally of um, getting a lot of our er early, sp um, get a lot of our late game spells very early. So yeah, sometimes you do get um, dud hand, but dud draws. But well, that single cut for you. Let's see. Turn to ledger shredder. Sure. I actually want to open up with Swamp first. Yeah, turn two Ledger Shredder is always good. And then we definitely want to cast the cast down so that we have Cyber Siphoner as an op option. Opponent goes for the Strangle. Okay. So now with this, we can actually just go for our, our Obscurus Storefront instead. source these incident opponent kind of holding back we can actually just cycle the San Sanders launch if our opponent literally does nothing if not we actually have the one-two punch like 
it's assuming it's not legendary. Th that is one. Th that is one small weakness here. And get the buyback. Incidental advantage is always good. Now we're gonna take the suspicious store away. Start getting the card draw going. We do have Meat Hook Massacre as, as an additional um, board wipe plan as well. Yeah, we, it doesn't give us the survivability uh, as before, but it's still good. Opponent needs to draw. Opponent needs forest, so we'll keep that in mind. Also, thank you for not casting a spell upon me. So, um, I guess we go X equals 4. It's tempting to go more, like with the Haughty Jin and whatnot, but... Yeah, Jewel Thief's a nice take. Uh, so we're just hoping to burn down the house. Okay, wipes, wipes everything. How many cards in there? Seven, so not quite enough damage yet. gonna pass this one let's see what they follow up this up with force cultivator actually I'm good yeah we're gonna hold this That's nine cards in the yard. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we might as well play this. Hmm. Can, how can how to deal at least six damage or so? Now this would actually really be busted with shield shieldred, but yeah, let's. We're not. We're not kind of dealing into that. Ooh, mints and boo. So let's see. I've got one butt kicking foot. So now it's legendary, so cast down cast down we're not casting it down. So we're actually gonna take Magic. a bit of a hit. Uh, we have muscle. My gosh, they're gonna have to move. Take John Irenicus though. Let's see. Sacrifice a creature when you do deals any target where X is that creature's power. Okay, now the reason we're going. Oh, wait. 14? Okay, we just need to survive this one turn. And, ho and they ho hope they don't gain life. Nobelar's Huntmaster. Now, because there's a trigger... We're able to do this before... We're able to do this before they act activate. So they'll most likely just do a plus. Yep, plus. We will stomp out evil! Uh, let's not, let's not, let's not faff around. Here, have a pack. Yes. Here, have a pack. <laughs> I figured I'd be able to do it one, one of these days. Yeah, that's the Eldritch pack out of the blue and we even had enough cards to do it. 
I really should turn on the, the room lights. But you know what? We're almost at the we're almost at the hour already. We got about six games in. We kind of 50-50. Yeah, let's do one more. Oh, that's too bright. I need to add the diffuse. I need to add some paper to diffuse this. Let's see if I can diffuse the light a bit. Does that look better? It actually looks better. There you go. So just uh, it's it's better until um the wind blows it. We'll see. So as for this hand, very much it's keep Okay, so guys Chandler's a bit of a whiff here, but we'll keep this uh we might end up having to play oh yeah. So turn to I Viconia because we kinda have to. Jin is a well. Let's see. Do they have to cut down? Restoration by Ganjo. So they definitely got their lands going. At least we kind. Of, at least we stalled them out a bit. So need. We are gonna hold up the absorb energy for now. So they're gonna pick that means they have so they're using it as land acceleration. That usually means they have another land. If they don't, that would be so weird. Okay, there's their other land. Let's see. So it's want to make it so they can make it all the way to a tree tree. So we're gonna let, let it go. Yeah, as I figured they okay, not casting another spell. Hmm. Unfortunately, we know they can. They're going to just activate this, so we might need that better offer now. Not a very great use for it, but um, we're we don't we're not ex we we can't be beggars at this point. Yeah, I'm starting to think that you, you could probably get away with just not running Jinga attacks, yes. Neat. Uh, let's see. We might as well act. We might as well attack. Let's see if they have um the rest. Let's see if they have the Iganjo. That would be interesting because okay, po opponent is just gonna. No, they could easily make this into a four four at this point. Not quite yet though. Yeah, opponents got us here really good. Invoke despair, so we probably sacrifice. Because um, I'd like to be a I'd like to buy the spell back, but I also don't want to just get run over. That is have to play this but this is a real feel bad like what am I get I could just hold this up that's kind of what what messed us up here but our opponent already played their worst possible spell on us that anything worse would probably be a planeswalker of some sort <laughs> and we actually and we can act, and we can slightly benefit from the mox from the extra moxin and the black lotus and whatnot, so it's not a big wash. It's not great though. Don't get me wrong on that one. So I could just chump block this one. I think no. If our opponent's just attacking with one, we'll take the hit. Will be a Gix creature or planeswalker. Now our opponent pro. Now, 
correct choice is actually Jinga Tax just because you know you're getting it soon. Wow, cruelty is actually really cruel. They're, they just went for the Haughty Jin instead. Okay. So I'm a, I'm I am actually kind of down with that. Cause um that means um the worst they can get out of our hand is a Haughty Jin. So they know we have an absorbed energy. We might as well just hold. So this can't block. Might as well attack with this. But yeah, we are getting out. We are getting out value here. Not, it's not really looking good. Like the, our opponent is probably just going to press the issue with with the, with the cards that they have on board now. I'm just really glad they decided they didn't pitch this one. This would have really ruined our day. Apparently, our opponent was not cruel enough. What if we crack this one right now? they went for that one and we can actually bite and we can actually bind it to secrecy so i don't know if we have the time for that yeah they went for that just to A for fight? this but and you think you can win let's see because right now it's gonna be awkward they probably want us to discard the card so we will probably just discard the guy's channeler here at this point don't overthink. Things. Also, let's do a check. Two, three, one. Now we'll discard the dice. So we definitely want this to fire off first. I actually want to just cast Tenacious Underdog instead of Jadar. Basically, I still want to hold up the, I still want to hold up Bind the Secrecy as, for as long as possible. Time Twister, somewhat awkward. Yeah, it benefits our opponent a lot more than it benefits us. It, it feels very weird to bin the power nine, but we are binning the power nine. Watch it. Now they could also, oh, they can get back their liaison, so that is a problem. Can't really do anything about that. But we can con. Oh, oh, they're going for Viconia. Okay. Let's see if our po like our opponent prop most likely wants to just conjure it, so they're gonna go for the Viconia combo right away. I'm surprised they didn't just go for it straight. Like bind the secrecy, discards a card. Sure, we we'll resolve that. We'll have to pitch Jadar. We have to pitch Jadar now. They did pitch Edgar. Edgar might be a good fit for us. Direction missionary. Okay. What's... Okay, hold on. They... I have no idea.
idea what their target. Oh, when it enters the battlefield, return target card. Okay, so we'll find out what the target is if I want to copy it or not. Like, ideally, I want to get Liesa, but if I don't draw another land, it's gonna. Oh, they're going for Raven then. Sure. Can swing with Evolve Sleeper, we would just block it. So, yeah, we will conjure and duplicate. We don't have any other vampires, we're gonna go for Leisa. Do they have a way? Oh, wait, they can exile. Yeah, they can just exile it. Never, that's a whiff. I forgot they, um, they get first dibs. Yeah, we would have been able to cast something. Might as well, yeah, might as well swing. Yeah, that can't block anyway. So. Might, no, might as well hold that to block. Infernal Grasp, we might... Let's see... Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. This, no, we're definitely blocking that. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can't. At the top, we're, we will not have the mana to cast it by then. Fine. Yeah. I know Considering the number wanted. of cards they cast versus what we cast, the number of cards they drew as well. Wow, we, we were so far behind. It's not funny. Yeah, we'll just concede this one now. Well, not. Not exactly a great showing, but we did get we did get some games in, so not too bad. I feel like I want to do at least one more. Yeah, let's do one more. But if anything, it does show that um, alchemy uh, that the alchemy cards. But in a singleton format, they're fine, they're swingy, not entire, not entirely that great. Okay. We have plays, but again, it seems like the problem's always been landing that mana. I guess you could cut, we could, like, say, cut the Geist Chandler for another land that would not be so bad. Okay. Save this one for when I do get frustrated. Opponent is, opponent is taking the slow boat though, so you know what? Let's take a look what our opponent is playing with. They're, they're definitely playing some sort of the game. King Darian looks nice. Now I probably want to actually just play Otuara, hold up for future spell keep. When it goes Denik. Yeah, this is fine. We'll... We're gonna cop we're gonna tr we're gonna grab a copy of whatever they cast next. Now my concern is that this is a hu that this is the perfect humans play. So their next card would be like Halana Elena, and then we're in real trouble. To give that part up a bit. I'll be surprised if they. Okay, let's get a copy of Falco. So this has a shield counter. <clears throat> Definitely. 
No, I definitely want to swing in with both because um, any amount of damage kills the shield counter anyway. Yeah, I would, that was what I was more expecting to happen. No, our opponent can easily beat us over, so I don't want to just hold the, the absorb energy quite yet. Yeah, because it's super suspicious. But we're holding it up anyway. This kind of deck generally wants to play out their creatures, so... That, and given the hand that we have, if we're able to counter a creature spell, the discount is humongous. Now that said, this is admittedly very suspicious. I... Also, we can't target, so Viconia is a bit locked out. Gale is also locked out in this case, yeah, Denix. Randomly, m randomly messing with us. At least we get to play with our opponent's card instead. So we'll see if our opponent actually does cast a spell. I would be, I would not be surprised if they choose not to do anything. Oh no, they did cast. And uh, so cast down. Oh, opponent concedes. They So what would I have done in this situation? Most likely, I would have played Falco, Falco into Shadowheart. Though the damage, taking damage might not be the great option. Again, we could not. It, King Darian, King Darian Shadow Geist Channeler would be an option. But yeah, we <laughs> we did manage to scare our opponent off there. So we. So I guess we'll take that as a we'll take that as a quick victory. Um, can't complain about it too much. The I will complain about the slowdowns a bit though. But um, I guess that's our cue that um, to call this episode. That's gonna be it for this episode of the Magic Arena Run. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications and whatnot. Yes, it's Singleton. It's pretty much a few a week or so, and then we do and we get into Brothers War. It's nice to have these some um, chill formats to wind this down. Until then, that's going to be it for this show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you guys again next time. Take care. God bless. Stay safe wherever you are. Have a great week, everyone.